Hi David, it's just Stuart here with your lesson summary um, from uh, last week. Um, sorry, it's taken a little bit longer to get to you. Uh, so if we have a, a little look at the swing here, uh, just a little issue of setup. Just watch the watch the ball position. We can get too far back there in the stance. Um, when we see it from the uh, the uh, down the line view. We're still going to see the the tendencies for the hands to work a little bit out and away from the body and come off plane. Shaft you can see coming off plane quite early. Foot gets pushed a little bit outside, and what happens from here is whenever the hands go out, the club then by the time it reaches the point where it's parallel to the ground, the club's now too far behind the hands. So if we continue up from there. At right arm parallel, shaft is just a little bit on the flat side here. <coughs> and you swing. If we continue up to the top, we can see how it gets a little bit across the line. Now, what I want you to notice here is that your left arm at this point is almost a little bit over bent, so you get a little bit narrow in the left arm at the top. When we look at your takeaway here from the face on view, you can see that your hands really initiate that movement away from the ball, and there isn't really much going on with the body movement. So, one of the exercises we wanted to try and give you was to put the club in your belly button and to try and feel as you move the club away, to try and feel like the club and the core move together to try and help you create a little bit more width. So you can see how the left arm really stays tucked into the side and gets into a very sort of narrow position at the top. Now the problem is from here, what's going to happen is the hands are now going to push out away from the body. So we see the hands push up and that first sort of move down in the transition. When we see it from the other angle, you see again that the hand's moving up as you start, and the, the club kind of has this casting look to it. And the left arm tips over a little bit more horizontally than we'd like to see it. And as a result of that, the club comes down a little bit on the steep side, and you're unable to really hold the angle between your wrists the shaft in your right arm, so you, you're releasing the club a little bit too early now. That's going to cause you some problems in terms of you know power, but also striking the ball. You can see that when you strike the ball, your hands are quite far back here. The left arm is kind of pointing this way, and um, we'd like to try and get the shaft in a little bit more forward to try and improve the, the compression on the on the strike. Um, again from the other angle you can see how much you you really do sort of cut across the ball. Club works under plane here, very much to the right. And whenever we see that happening we're gonna see a little bit of a a release where the uh, the right arm is forced to kind of work upwards the right elbow so it's supposed to work upwards as you go through so it's it's um, kind of inhibits your release a little bit. So um the the key stuff really is to feel you know setup wise it's not it's not too bad. I mean just watch the ball position. Posture looks pretty good. Um what I would like to see is just a feeling of, of a little bit more width in the takeaway so to try and feel like the um the club and your body uh, move a little bit more together, trying to keep your lower body nice and stable though, and uh, try and create a little bit more space in between the left arm and your body. Okay. Now, as you do that and you look at it from the other angle, we want to make sure that the hands don't work away from the body, so we need to keep the hands in as we do this. Um, and as a result, the top of the swing will get a little bit wider, and then there won't be as much requirement for you to, to then widen the downswing as you, as you swing down. So that's the key really, just get the takeaway and the club more on plane, more on line, a bit wider at the top 
and um, you know, then we can we can really start to push on and, and, and try and improve the uh, the downstream and the dynamics of the downstream. Try and create a little bit more power and uh, direction as well. Okay, David. Um, I hope it's going all right for you, and um, I'll look forward to catching up with you near Christmas time.